Monsieur le Chancelier, Monsieur le Président du Conseil d'administration, Mr. President and Vice Chancellor, honored platform guests, dear graduates, parents, and friends, welcome. My name is Amir Asif, and I'm the Dean of the Faculty of Engineering and Computer Science. Dear graduates, reaching this milestone in your lives is a tremendous accomplishment, and now you contemplate the journey ahead. Let me say how there could be no better role model than today's honorary doctorate recipient, Mr. Pierre Lassant. Mr. Lassant is the perfect example of the next generation engineer that we in the faculty imagine as the future of the profession. His academic accomplishments include a Bachelor of Arts, a Bachelor of Engineering, a Master's in Business Administration, and a CFA designation. Mr. Lassant has had a direct and political impact on Canadian industry. He is an active and engaged philanthropist in both Canada and United States in the fields of education, the arts, and the community in which he lives. It's an honor to have someone of such vision and industriousness with us. Seeing you, our students, successfully complete your programs is of great importance to us and is one of the key ways we know we are on the right path. We hope the seeds have been sown for a lifetime of passion in your work and commitment to the society of which you are a part. We also applaud everyone who helped you make it to this day, your friends, families, and sportive communities. Everyone, please rise and join Ms. Colleen Bartley, mezzo-soprano, in the singing of O Canada. Welcome, bienvenue. Renowned jazz musician Wynton Marsalis has said, if you want to make an intelligent contribution, you have to listen to what others have to say, especially those who are different. As students, you've had the opportunity to listen and to learn, and hopefully you have recognized and embraced that which was different, unfamiliar. One of Concordia's greatest strengths is its diversity, and each one of you here today has contributed to that diversity in some way, and our collective learning experience has been enriched because of it. Chacun et chacun d'entre vous ici a contribué à bâtir une diversité qui nous enrichit. Going forward, as citizens of our interconnected world, let the different connections you make and the relationships you build be your greatest source of inspiration and hope. And let an open and curious mind guide you as you continue to shape your futures. Thank you, congratulations graduates, and you may please be seated now.
Dear graduates, invités distingués, mesdames et messieurs, félicitations à chacun et chacune de nos nouveaux diplômés en cette magnifique journée de réjouissance. Graduation is a special day for your support networks, your families, loved ones, and friends, as well as the Concordia community and your fellow alumni who have collectively collaborated with you to make this day possible. I am thrilled and honored to share this special milestone with you. Le valeur d'une formation universitaire est incontestable, et en obtenant votre diplôme, vous avez acquis un grand avantage dans notre société. Mais il y a autre chose. The lessons gleaned from textbooks and professors were just the beginning. Your challenge now is how to acquire knowledge on your own using the education and skills you developed here at Concordia. We stop growing when we stop learning, and therefore the road to success is truly always under construction. Take it from me, I'm a 65-year-old work in progress. Success is not determined by financial wealth or even the approval of our peers, but rather success is defined by the extent to which we are able to build our communities and help our fellow citizens. There's a famous maxim that says, we make a living by what we get, we make a life by what we give. Our backgrounds and circumstances have influenced who we are, but we are all responsible for who we become. You must continue to be open with outstretched arms and open hands to be willing to receive, but also to give. Define success by the degree to which you positively affect people in your lives. En tant que citoyen averti et engagé, vous, les diplômés, êtes bien placés pour exercer une influence extrêmement bénéfique sur notre monde en évolution constante. Progress and change now lie squarely in your hands. As Buckminster Fuller said, you never change things by fighting the existing reality. To change something, build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete. There is no shortage of opportunity to get involved. There is no methodology that cannot be improved and no science, engineering, art, or business that cannot be enhanced by the energy enthusiasm, and skills you all possess. To thrive rather than merely survive, you will have to be adaptable and resilient. You will have to be leaders of change, not followers. Do not be afraid to lead, not only by example, but also by exerting a, <coughs> a positive influence on those around you. Remember that if you elevate others, you elevate yourself. I know that for many of you, this is a period that can be unsettling, given the uncertainty that may be ahead. You are transitioning from an environment where everyone told you what you should do to an environment where you now have to decide for yourself what you want to do. Wherever you go and whatever you do, the harvest of knowledge, experience, and values that you have learned and absorbed at Concordia will be as relevant for society as you make it. Be bold, be imaginative, be prepared to fail, to continue to learn and to succeed. Trust me, you can and will make a difference if you follow your passions. When you discover your passion, you will find your life to be an absolute joy. Je vous encourage à rêver, à explorer les choses qui n'existent pas encore, puisque c'est ainsi que vous allez changer le monde et bâtir l'avenir. I am happy that we share a meaningful connection through Concordia, and I hope that today is the beginning of your new lifelong bond with our university and your community. I wish you all good luck, good health, and good fortune. Chapeau et merci.
I would like to introduce Dr. Alan Shepard, President of Concordia, to address the convocation. Bonjour, bienvenue à toutes et à tous. To our graduates, congratulations. A university degree is a major achievement. And in our 21st century knowledge society, it's a vital one. So much the better if your degree comes from a school with a strong reputation, like ENCS, like Concordia. Université urbaine et engagée, Concordia puise ses forces dans le sens même de ses établissements fondateurs. Loyola College, qui suivant la philosophie jésuite, privilégie le service à la collectivité. Et Sir George Williams University, qui favorise l'accès à l'éducation. That solid foundation helped the Concordia of today prepare you for a world that admires your can-do attitude your entrepreneurial energy, and your ambition to make the world a better place. Concordia now is part of your DNA. Tout comme vous, notre université, nouvelle génération, poursuit son évolution. Nous avons lancé l'an dernier une nouvelle vision stratégique. Inspirée par nos fortes traditions, elle nous indique comment transformer tant le milieu universitaire que la société dans son ensemble. Some of our nine strategic directions include to experiment boldly, to get your hands dirty in research and learning, to mix it up across traditional disciplinary lines, and our most popular direction, to take pride. When I'm out and about talking to our alumni, the respect, the gratitude, the pride they have in this institution and the doors they were able to open with Concordia's help. Those are the recurring themes. You know best the value of the education you've received here. I hope you'll tell others. Stay in touch with each other. Stay in touch with us. Bonne chance. Félicitations. Merci. Mr. Chancellor, it is my honor to present to you Mr. Pierre Lissant, one of the Canada's most successful mining engineers and a generous philanthropist. Pierre Lissant is recognized among the best mining and precious metals experts in the country. A leading gold analyst with over 25 years of experience in the mining and investment business and co-founder of Franco Nevada Corporation, Mr. Lesson has further distinguished himself through philanthropy. Over the years, he has lent his support to engineering schools and programs at numerous universities in Ontario and Quebec. Mr. Lesson explains his passionate support for education in an interview with the Globe and Mail. In this interview, he says the following: Canada's natural resource is not our, our oil, it is not our minerals, and it's not our forests, it is our young people. Across the border, Ms. Mr. Lesson's stewardship helped establish the Lesson Entrepreneur Institute at the University of Ottawa, a nationally ranked hub for student entrepreneurship and innovation. A recent gift from Mr. Lesson will fund the new Lesson Studios, an entrepreneurial living and creative facility that combines 400 student residences with a 20,000 square foot garage for student thinkers and doers. Beyond the education sector, Mr. Lesson has served on several boards, including the Toronto Hospital Foundation, where he assisted the Cardiac Center in raising over $25 million, as well as the Gold and Silver Institute, the World Gold Council, and the Canadian Institute of Mining and Metallurgy. Since 2005, Mr. Lesson has served as chairman of of Musée de Beau Arts the Cubic. In addition to supporting the Arts the Cubic through personal contribution, Mr. Lesson helped lead a major fundraising campaign to build a new wing, effectively doubling the museum's exhibition surface. 
Mr. Lassonde holds a Bachelor of Arts degree from University de Montréal, as well as a Bachelor of Science for, from Ecole Polytechnique. He then traveled to the US, completing an MBA at the University of Utah and earning chartered financial analyst designation from the University of Virginia before returning to Ecole Polytechnique years later to complete a diploma in electrical engineering. In 1982, he co-founded Franco Nevada Mining Corporation with equally philanthropic Canadian businessman Seymour Schulich. In 2002, Franco Nevada was bought by Newmont Mining Corporation, and Mr. Lisson became the post-merger president of what was then the world's largest gold producer. In 2008, Mr. Lisson led a group of investors in bringing the name Franco Nevada back to the public market and became chair of the new spun-off company. Mr. Lisson is also the author of the gold book, The Complete Investment Guide to Precious Metals. He was named a Companion of the Order of Canada in 2002, an Officer of the Order of Quebec in 2008, and holds honorary degrees from four other universities. In addition to being inducted into the Canadian Mining Hall of Fame in 2013, he has received several accolades for his work in the field of gold investment. He received the Ontario Professional Engineers Gold Medal Award in 2004, the DC Jackling Award of the Society of Mining, Metallurgy and Exploration in 2005, and 2006 was named a Fellow of the Canadian Academy of Engineering. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of Senate and the Board of Governors, it is my privilege and honor to present to you Mr. Pierre Lassant so that you may confer upon him the degree of Doctor of Science, Honorary Causa. I would like to ask Dr. Lasson to please address the convocation. Mr. Chancellor, Chairman of the Board of Governors, Mr. President, honored platform guests, graduating class, family and friends. Um, first, let me tell the um, graduate how uh, much I envy you um, you're immensely rich in um, one aspect of life where I'm on the poorer side these days, and that's youth. Um, I was reminded of that a few weeks ago because I was sitting with my partner, who's a few years, just a few years older than I am, and I, actually it was his birthday, and he had his, grand, his grandson there, and he, who's six years old, and he really wanted to impress his grandson about his upbringing. So, um, you know, he was saying, Jake, in my days, I had to walk five miles in the dead of winter, you know, to go to school with just one pair of shoes, and we had to dry them. And then in the summer, like, you know, we had to, if we wanted to go, um, you know, do some bow hunting. We'd have to cut the trees and skin the trees and like, you know, string. And he went on and on and on for like 15 minutes. At the end of that, the grandson looks at him and he says, he says, Grandpa, in your days, were there dinosaurs? <laughs> Let me tell you, we both felt like dinosaur right at that point in time. And um, uh, what you, I guess I was, listening to uh, doc, Dr. Asif uh, talk about my accomplishment. And at one point, it says, like, you got to be a dinosaur by the time you've done that, you see? Um, but we shouldn't forget that dinosaurs did rule the Earth at one point. 
Um, so if you look at yourself, you've got about 40 years to get to the point where um, you're going to be a dinosaur, just like me. Life is not a dress rehearsal. Um, you only live once, so make sure that you do it well. Um, as Nietzsche, the, the famous the German philosopher, uh, put it, if you have a why to live, you can bear any how. I can't tell you how to live your life or how you are going to change the world. That's up to you. But what I can tell you is um, my Lausanne's rules of life. And you will note that I'm very partial to family and community. And that's because family and community will have more impact on your happiness than money or fame ever will. And in fact, the biggest decision that you will ever make, it's not buying a car, it's not buying a house, it's not taking a trip, it really is who are you going to choose as your life partner? Well, good luck on that one. <laughs> so I just thought I'd share a few uh, of my teams. My rule number one is say thank you. Now, we Canadians are very, very prompt in saying, oh, I'm sorry, excuse me, but maybe not quite, you know, prompt enough to say thank you. And those two little words really is a way to say to people, I care, I care about you, you know? So make sure that, you know, you go to the Tim Horton, like I do, I can't, I'm a Tim Horton guy, but you get up at 5.30 in the morning after you've studied all night, just say thank you to the person who serves you because she's been up since 4.30 to be there for you. Your parents, without them, you wouldn't be here today. Say thank you to them after this ceremony. And then the families and friends, you know, and that goes with my rule number two, which I'm sure you will all like really, really much, which is throw a party. You know, it, it sounds kind of frilly a little bit, but it's my way of saying celebrate life. Before you turn into dinosaurs, you want to make sure that you create the memories that will live on. Because at the end of the day, that's really what's important create the memories that will live on. So if your parents are celebrating their 25th anniversary or your kid's sister is turning 18, be there for them. Just be there for them. Celebrate life with them. My rule number three is have no regrets. Live your passion. It's not so much the outcome that matters, but it's whether you've tried or not, whether you gave it your best or not. And at the end of the day, the saddest thing that I think I've ever seen is old people full of regrets. You don't want to get there. So you are at the perfect age. Live your life with a passion and have no regrets. And I tell you, I learned that a little bit, I wouldn't say the hard way, but it was not certainly the easiest way. My first wife um, passed away of cancer, very young, and a few days before her a death. We were sitting in our backyard and um, we were just talking about our lives and, you know, what we've done. And the very last thing she said to me, she said, Pierre, I have no regrets. And it's, it didn't sink in immediately. It took me like weeks to figure it out. But to be able to get to the end of your life and say, I have no regrets, has to be the most incredible feeling that you can have. That means you have done everything in your power to achieve your dreams. And that's what I want for you. My rule number four, feed your soul. Einstein once said, the true sign of intelligence is not knowledge, but imagination. 
So if you don't want to be replaced by a robot sometime down the road, you better feed your soul. And whether it's music, art, poetry, travel, religion, whatever works for you, just, you know, for all the talk about artificial intelligence, I've yet to hear about artificial soul. So there's still so, something here for you to do. It's so important. So feed your soul. Rule number five, see for yourself that the earth is round. We Canadians are very, very fortunate. We do live a sheltered life. So go out and experience other cultures and other people. It's the best way for anyone to slay their prejudice. And you gain understanding from each other. You know, it's interesting. I've been in over 103 countries now in the world. In fact, I made it a goal at one point in my life with a friend of mine. We, we said the first one who gets to go to 100 countries. And we used the United Nations books of countries to count. And we, then we had rules. Okay, you can't just land at the airport and go. Okay, we had all kinds of rules so that you know, at least you visit the country, you be there. And uh, I'm pleased to say that I beat him. I got to 100 first. Uh, and now I'm at 103 and I can't stop. Um, I want to see them all. And, uh, but the only place, the only place that I have ever, ever been stolen, anything, is in France. Go figure. Okay, and I've been in countries that are a heck of a lot more dodgy than France. But I gotta tell you, I can't begin to tell you the, the, the number of random act of kindness that total strangers have done on me, for me. It's a wonderful live that we live in. I tell you, there are some incredible places and what you find is that people, by and large, wherever they are, they have the same goal, the same values, the same aspirations as we do here. So slay your prejudice, see the world. And then my rule number six, leave a better world behind. Now, the impact of seven billion people has on the earth today is a far cry from only even 200 years ago where the earth only had a billion people. Think about this, in, in 200 years, we've added six billion people to this planet. So it's our duty uh, to leave as little an impact as possible on our beautiful planet and to pass it on to our grandchildren in a way that we can be proud of. But it's not just about the environment that I'm talking about. It's also about leaving better institutions, better democracy, a better justice system, and a better, you know, I talk about education. And so it brings me back to one of the very key team of my life in the past 10, 15 years, and it's about giving back. And it's about philanthropy and the three, what I call the three T's of philanthropy. Give some of your time, give some of your talent, and give some of your treasures. And it's important as you get you know, on with your life to keep that in mind, keep where, you're came, where you came from. You know, what has Concordia given you to make you a better person? Well, make sure that you can give some of it back. And finally, my last rule for today will be keep your speeches under 10 minutes. I'm reaching that mark. So I will conclude in wishing you the very best in life and enjoy um, all of it. And please do not forget your alma mater when uh, your time comes to give back. Thank you so much. Dr. Lasson, thank you. Merci. Thank you for your important life messages and for reminding us that living in the moment with passion and wish without regret is paramount. Thank you very much. I would like to call upon Deputy Provost for the conferring of the degrees.
Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of Senate, I present to you the candidates for the doctoral and doctorate degrees and for the master and magisteriate degrees and for the graduate diplomas and certificates in the Faculty of Engineering and Computer Science. I certify that these candidates have fulfilled the requirements of these degrees, diplomas, and certificates. Monsieur le Chancelier, au nom du Sénat, je vous présente les candidats de doctorat et de la maîtrise ainsi qu'au diplôme et au certificat de deuxième cycle de, de la Faculté de génie et d'informatique. J'atteste qu'ils satisfont aux exigences et de ces grades diplôme et certificat. Will the doctoral, doctorate, master, and magisteriate diploma and certificate candidates please stand? By the powers granted in the university charter, I admit each of you to the appropriate degree, diploma, or certificate as approved by Senate and certified by the Deputy Provost. En vertu de l'autorité que me confère le charte de l'université et for de l'approbation de Senate et de l'attestation de vice-rectorat exécutif aux affaires académiques, je vous décerne les grades, diplômes, ou certificats could we postulate? Please be seated. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of Senate, I present to you the candidates for the bachelor and baccalaureate degrees and the undergraduate certificates in the Faculty of Engineering and Computer Science. I certify that these candidates have fulfilled the requirements for these degrees. Monsieur le Chancelier, au nom du Sénat, je vous présente les candidats au baccalauréat de la Faculté de génie et d'informatique. J'atteste qu'ils satisfont aux exigences de ces grades. Would the bachelor and baccalaureate candidates please stand? By the powers granted in the university charter, I admit each of you to the appropriate degree as approved by Senate and certified by the Deputy Provost. En vertu de l'autorité que me confère la charte de l'université et for de l'approbation du Sénat et de l'attestation de vice-rectorat exécutif aux affaires académiques, je vous décerne les grades que vous postulez. Please be seated. While our graduates prepare to cross the stage, I invite you to enjoy the music of the Encore Brass Quintet.
I'm pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Doctor of Doctorate in Philosophy for the following programs. Computer Science, Electrical and Computer Engineering, Information Systems Engineering. Faisal Suleiman Asakar. Elias Buharb. Daryush Ibrahimi. Azade Jahan Banifar. Kostuba Mendorwar. Muflih Saleh Ashatnawi. Amin Bukhtuta. Zuhair Brish. Claude Fashcha. Mohammed Ala Eddin Muharram Hassan, winner of the Doctoral Prize in Engineering and Computer Science, awarded annually when merited to the most deserving graduate of the Doctor of Doctorate in Philosophy programs in the Faculty of Engineering and Computer Science. Kaza Anural Hok. Omar Ibrahim Marai. <laughs> Hamid Riza Sadri Zami. Muhammad Omair Siddiq. John Gitonga Wanjiku. Warda Al Khouli. I'm pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magisteriate in Applied Computer Science from the following program, Computer Science. Meet Anad Khat. This is Lava Andriva.
Nihal Panjakumar Bagat. Bogdan Yuan Korshova. Parth Gadia. Ricardo Alfredo Gonzalez. Sharat Kumar Ridi Jilala. Gagan Jod Singh Kalon. Navleen Kaur. Faizan Jahangir Khan. Chen Zhuang Liu. Mahesh Ridi Man. Sanchit Mehta. Ankur Pandey. Deep Pandya. Parikshit Girish Kumar Pandya. Hardik Vinod Bai Patel. Part Parish Kumar Patel. Yugish Rawat. Shin Shao. Shufei Shi. Hai Young Sun. Sai Sun. Fariba Tahiri. Arshana Tanwar. Ting Zhang. I'm pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magisteriate in Computer Science from the following program, Computer Science. Zahra Asadi. David Birkash. Mohammad Riza Ibrahimi. Abonti Ferdows. Ching Gu. Wai Han. Rifat Jafrin. Mathieu Loisel. Shibo Song. Shagaye Tahiri Hussein Nabadi.
I'm pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magisteriate in Applied Science and the Master of Magisteriate in Engineering from the following program, Electrical and Computer Engineering. Mehrengar Agayan. Mohammed Mustafa Baba. Tariq Daradka. Shayan Iskandari. Mehran Nur al Haq Khan. Mohammed Qasim. Shagaye Shaharuki Tehrani. Anurag Abaya Prasad. MD Safwan Bin Alam. Muhammad Oli Alam. Rizwan Muhammad Al Amin. Vishal Anan. Saravan Bhagavat Singh. Ankit Batnagar. Sandra Carduna. Luis Felipe Carvajal Arivalu. Praveen Kumar Dayalan. Shukudi Albert Ezefibe. Amir Bahadur Gaharusi. Jose Gomez. Jiwan Gu. Omer Hafiz. Kush Buhanda. Chun Hu Ji. Aditya Joshi. Ankit Joshi. Srijit Kaduskar. Milan Kumar Katiria. Milan Kumar Ratilal Katiria. Amandeep Kaur. Satwinder Kaur. Muhammad Hamad Khan. Kumal Bir Singh Khosa. Ismail Khuda Baksh. Vamshi Kumar Kopula. Deepak Kumar. Deepak Kumar. Tianran Lu.
Pratik Kumar Kishorbai Makwana. Amin Pal Kor Malhans. Gauri Sankar Manuhar. Anand Mathur. Idam Kumar Mayani. Rusom Miao. Dwai Payan Mukherjee. Nitin Kumar Navin Kumar. Nilan Yazi Bitgoli. Stephen Dar Olushula. Yan Pan. Ruhan Paranjpe. Veen Al Patel. Kranthi Pandli. Darshani Kanai Bahai Raiwaji Wala. Ashish Sabne. Ashish Sabne. Samta Shiva Koti Reddy Sati Shiva Shiva Koti Reddy Sati Vikramjit Singh A.Q. Shaikh Shushun Shan. Sandeep Shankarapa. Sandeep Shankarapa. Sudarshan Shanmugam. Sudarshan Shamangam. Sheikh Muhammad Danish. Muhammad Danish Sheikh. So she get in deep, sing. Gurjot sing. Gurjot sing. Harmanjot sing. Harmit Singh, Jagdeep Singh, Karamvir Singh, Karamvir Singh, Vinit Singh, Vinit Singh, Ming Yao Song, Ming Yao Song. Mohammed Rahil Tariq Shahil Takur Ashish Thind Gegandip Singh Tour Abby Jan Varki. Howlin Wei. Howlin Wei. Wen Tao Xu. Wen Tao Xu. Dwarkanath Yadav. Dwarkanath Yadav. Jonathan. 
Jean-Hui Zhang. Athena Zulgad. I'm pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magisteriate in Applied Science and the Master of Magisteriate in Engineering from the following program, Information System Security. He Huang. Mina Khalili. Ahmed Alani. Arij Al Harbi. Shahbaz Ali. Hadil Farid Al Maimani. Janu Bajaj. Varna Balachandran. Narish Bandlamudi. Sachin Bodopali. Sachin Bodopali. Sean Borges. Sean Borges. Alman Mauricio Cardenas. Harshit Dubey. Harshit Dubey. Niha Gavankar. Marwan Jaja. Marwan Jaja. Claire Nindu Kalisi Lira. Mujan Kadam Muhtaram. Shalaka Himan Kulapuri, winner of the F.A. Uh, Gerald Prize, awarded annually when merited to the most deserving graduate of the Master of Magisteriate in Engineering and Applied Computer Science programs, non-thesis. Sima Kutapurath. Nadine Audrey Jifa Edem Kpobli. Vivek Kumar. Vivek Kumar. Ashish Kumar Masharla. Akshaya Mahadevan. Dun Mao. Arvin Murali. Rajesh Kumar Murukan Sasi Kavala. Spurti Reddy Mutiala. Shiva Nuzari. Adibayo Olusola Omoli. Alap Patel. Nikhil Rapoli. Gulnaz Rasuli. Nazanin Riznavi Nikabadi. Parag Roy Chaudhry. Wow. 
Oluwatoyen Sanbori. Nishantini Suresh Babu. Alin Mihai Turku. Shravani Valapurdi. Marshalinus C.B. Virgin. Piaget Virk. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magisteriate in Applied Science and the Master of Magisteriate in Engineering from the following program, Quality Systems Engineering. James Corrigan. James Corrigan. <laughs> Elva Luz Crespo Nira. Jasnit Kaur. <laughs> Hadi Shahidi Nejat. <laughs> Anna Isabel Vasquez. <laughs> Sharuk Abu Salah. Tanvir Ahmed. Ali Alderlamy. Ali Alderlamy. Feruz Ali Bek. Feruz Ali Bek. Praveen Reddy Ambati. Praveen Reddy Ambati. Maria Jurema Azuelo. <laughs> Mohamed Kian Bakian Duaga. <laughs> Nagla Bala. <laughs> Shiva Kumar Basareddy. <laughs> Vishwa Teya Batula. Lakwinder Singh Dilan. Lakwinder Singh Dilan. Lalita Parameshwari Hedera. Lalita Parameshwari Hedera. Nasim Igdasadi. Nioma Chimzulum. Eguano Wu. Rahu Gadam. Magnogia Gali. Krishna Shaitiana Gangishati. Ravi Kant Reddy Guja. Kumar Swetha Kirthi Halad Kari Pradeep. Ramandeep Kaur. Zhao Lin. Yang Liu. Lucia de Janeiro Martinez Hill. Lucia. De Janeiro Martinez Gilves. <laughs> Jadeep Singh Monga. Lorena Morales. Lorena Morales. <laughs> Esther 
Oyen Yech Kuku Okekwu. A farin for us, Kui. Armando Jose Rodriguez Romero. Kriti Sadek. Uday Sagi. Fatima Sarkar. Ashvin Sharma. Ashvin Sharma. Kushal Sharma. Kushal Sharma. Amanpreet Singh. Amanpreet Singh. Gurpreet Singh. Kuljit Singh. Kuljit Singh. Malkit Singh. Malkit Singh. Ranbir Singh. Sube. Omid Tagoli. Gopi Vasudevan. Gopi Vasudevan. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magisteriate in Applied Science and the Master of Magisteriate in Engineering from the following program, Software Engineering. To Lovi Peter Oyet Kanmi. Jasmine Abu Oda. Idris Adigan. Suman Alung. Katam Raju Atthaki. Ali Sangari. Ali Sangari. Nirav Bhut. Kamaldeep Chima. Kamaldeep Chima. Satish Chilkaka. Jean Ramon Daher. Chitan Dalal. Zinia Das. Karth Mukeshba Desai. Gilles de Rocher. Umer Faruqi. Sal Ganesh Gadam. Amish Gala. Aman Gill. Navpreet Singh Gill. German Preet Kaur. Mohammed F. Tech Harul Islam. Binita Jakaria. Sharuz Jamil. Muhammad Fahim Jan. Kanish 
Karishma Jasrani. Sahiti Cassetti. Jaspreet Kaur. Manpreet Kaur. Navdeep Kaur. Sukhvir Kaur. Taranpreet Kaur. Rahul Karam Shiva Kikani. Naresh Kumar. Vishal Mania. Akilesh Mazna. Radha Manhurwar. Renuka Mulkuri. Avi Mukesh Moody. Firas Murtada. Sahela Nargasyan. Shivam Patel. Abhijit Partil. Pavan Kumar Pulu. Simar Preet. Jinis Pai is for my high Rajodia. Preeti Saini. Johan Salas Salcedo. Tana Sri. Pajavra Satir Satari. Sagar Manuj Kumar Shukla. Sagar Manuj Kumar Shukla. Ankit Singh. Ankit Singh. Chanpreet Singh. Chanpreet Singh. Harmeet Singh. Mandeep Singh. Sumanpreet Singh. Sumanpreet Singh. Yugand Subti. Srikant Suryad Evara. Devaki Tendolkar. Yahweh Chang. Yahweh Chang. I am pleased to introduce you to you the candidates for the graduate diploma in computer science. Ifitkar Hamid. I am pleased to introduce you to the candidates for the Bachelor in Baccalaureate in Computer Science. 
Prince Abruzzese with distinction. Leomar Alexander Cantera. Nasir Hamid Ali Medin. I was Ali with distinction. Michael Ambarsumian. Michael Ambarsumian. Christian Berkes with distinction. Connor Bode. Connor Bode with distinction. Lori Bronze with distinction. Megan Brown. Lucas Cardo Goyet. Lucas Cador Goyet. Chen Yi Chen. Sarah Li Cheng. Andrew Costa. Marco Deco Bellis. Edin Diom with great distinction. Rebecca Dory. And Marie Sarah Dubey. Nicholas Dudek. Abraham Christopher Duberville. Zachary Thomas Daniel. Jessica Falco. Matteo Giuliani. Matteo Giuliani. Suleiman Gindo. Suleiman Gindo. Ningo Hu. Nicholas Husser. Nicholas Husser with distinction. Lori Juno. Iveni Koch Malani. Dmitry Kuznetsov. Lash Noani. Lash Noani. George Lombardis. George Lombardis with distinction. Pinson Leverdu. Matthew LeBlanc. Stanley Nakan. Stanley Nakan New. Annie Mao with distinction. Joe Miranda. Joe Miranda with distinction. Sammy Marini. Sammy Rorini. Li Hu Pan with distinction. Congratulations. Vanessa Peltier. Victoria Powell. And Fatima Brahman. Shanati Rani. Derek Schuneman. Nati Sajoso. Nati 
Alexandre Simon. Stephen Sopoto with distinction. Raphael Stein. Raphael Stein with distinction. Pietro Tortionzi. Carlos Andreas Vargas Farfan. Carlos Andreas Vargas Farfan. Daniel Ventituri with distinction. Denvi Nugin. Li Shen Shu. Arash Zarasisan. Arash Zarasisan. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor in, Baccalaureate in Engineering from the following departments. Computer Science and Software Engineering. Gorlin Beatty with distinction. Justin Bunker with great distinction. Winner of the Computer Engineering Medal awarded to the most outstanding graduating student in computer engineering. Jackie Chama with distinction. Claudio Gicinto Franca Villa. Alexander Gambino. Ashi Hirbon. Ahmed Ibrahim with distinction. George Katsaros. Julian Lai. Mateen Mansouri. Christopher Marodey. <laughs> Gobia Faith Magapi. <laughs> Olivia Nguyen with distinction. <laughs> Simon Pradier. Nabil Ahmed. Samir Abdullah. Zainad Al Jabouri. Fahad Al Shakiri. Bedra Atabibi with distinction. Nicholas Boudreau with great distinction. Tarek Al Ashkar. Malik Al Bayer. Malik Al Bayer. Fatamia Hawk. Robert Yankelstein. Robert Yankelstein. GCD. GCD. Zhuang Liu. Zhuang Lu with distinction. Venkata Lakshmi Manta. Venkata. Lakshmi Manta. Francisco Padron. Francisco Padron. Joy Piccarello. Joy Piccarello. <coughs> Joy Piccarello. 
Matt Sapolsky, with great distinction, co-winner of the Hiro Sagos Medal for Electrical Engineering, awarded to the most outstanding graduating student in electrical engineering, co-winner of the Chot Medal awarded to the highest ranking graduating student with a Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Engineering. Yao San with distinction. Hao Ying Chen. Howard Wong. Howard Wong. Stefan Wapnik. Stefan Wapnik, co winner of the Paus Zigas Medal for Electrical Engineering, awarded to the most outstanding graduating student in electrical engineering. Co winner of the Chad Medal, awarded to the highest ranking graduate student in the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Engineering. David Williams. Chuck Wilson. Chuck Wilson. <laughs> Natalie Mercedes Ares Matut with distinction. Shamiti Tasum Noor with distinction. Amir Ali Shankai. Janice Augustine with distinction. Ramiz Alagabar. Alberto Atuza Malave. <laughs> Nicholas Steve with distinction. Aliyev Joseph Kellenson. Aliyev Joseph Kellenson. <laughs> Conan Mark Henney. Daniel Kalenson. Eden Daniel Kalenson. Yasmin Barkin. Maruda Ratan Dube. Alyssa Ganje with Great distinction, winner of the Software Engineering Medal awarded to the most outstanding graduate student in software engineering. Corey James Lee. Corey James Lee. Queen Ann Lee. Arsene Adapov. Arseny Natapov. Patrick Nguyen. Patrick Nguyen. Alain Trin. Matter Wasemi. Robert Wen. Ajibir Singh Ajudah. Ajibir Singh Ajudah with distinction. Gregory Fisher Rush. Gregory Fisher Rush. Mark Karenfil. Mark Karenfil with great distinction. <laughs> Maron Lamiri. Stephanie Lee. Jeffrey Liu. Jeffrey Liu with distinction. Mark Masood. Mark Masood. Timothy Smith. Timothy Smith. Timothy Smith. 
Stuart Adam with distinction. Tyler Argo with great distinction. Leo Collard. Leo Collard with distinction. Abdenour Jeffrey. Abdenour Jeffrey. Bashir Gaspar Diallo. Justin Chong Juan Do. Amanda Juno with distinction. Evangelia Contes with distinction. Kenny Kwan with distinction. Georgia Lachov. Christina Lachova. David Lim. Liam Ma. Gaston Metos. Chantal Robiol with great distinction. Felicia Santo Petit with distinction. Eric Troloba. Priestess Valley Puran. The Governor General's Silver Medal is awarded on behalf of His Excellency the Governor General of Canada to the highest ranking undergraduate student graduating from Concordia University. He is graduating from the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering with a near perfect grade point average. It is with great pleasure that I announce this year's winner, Mr. Mats Pawlowski. I would now like to ask Ms. Natalie Mercedes Arias Matut to give the valedictory, valedictory address. Thank you. Chancellor Wiener, Chairman Herbert, President and Vice Chancellor Shepard, Dr. Lassonde, distinguished guests and participants, fellow students, families and friends, Mesdames et Messieurs. I am pleased and honored to address you today on behalf of the engineering graduating class of 2016. As I look around, I see a lot of proud faces that bring to mind memories of the tough journey we've taken together. My journey actually began a few years earlier. Yes, this is the second time I go through the emotional roller coaster of graduation. The first time, like many of you fellow graduates, I was figuring out what to wear during Canadian winter, how to live alone, buy groceries, and even after graduating, I was still figuring out what my passion was. I wanted to be challenged intellectually, and at the same time, change the world, have a real impact on our society. In other words, in other words I realized I wanted to be an engineer. 
I came back to Concordia, but this time, I vowed to go through the university experience with a whole new perspective. I was really observant, and today I want to share with you three main lessons we have all learned that were embedded in our university life. Number one, everything is better in a team. Fun fact, differential equations, recursion, and the social impact of technology are actually tough topics to wrap your head around. Some people take great notes in class, some people solve all the practice problems in the book. Others rely entirely on YouTube and online lectures. But what I love about this group of people is that we all complement each other's strengths and help each other out. Working is always better in groups because everyone brings something different to the table. Of course, this also means you have to be open to asking for help and admit when you don't know something. This is a valuable ability we will take with us wherever we go. So ask for help, help your peers, and most importantly, don't stop learning. Number two, life is about balance. We've all learned that studying needs to be balanced with social life and in extracurricular activities. Managing our time amongst all these pursuits was almost impossible. We all took a hit in our social life for our grades. Those of us who are lucky enough to still be with our non-engineering partners, or those who didn't see their parents for days because of studying, even though you live together, we are so thankful you stayed by our side. So thank you. Our grades also took a hit when we got involved in student societies. After all, getting Society of the Year three out of four years here was no simple task for IEEE Concordia. But it was always worth it. And the fact that friends were there for the studying and the socializing and the societies made it all bearable. And the bondings were infirmed by memorizing each other's Timmy's orders. So yes, we've learned time management. But moreover, we've come to realize that life is about balance. And we've learned to balance our time between the people we love, our pursuit of excellence, and our other creative passions. Number three, support is crucial. Due to my career choices, I am used to and comfortable in a room full of guys. And sure, I kind of like being the queen in the room. So when I notice a lot of girls in the classroom, that's when I react like, hey, this is awesome. But am I in the right room? And yeah, it's kind of funny, but terribly sad. I never had a doubt about being able to study engineering. I have been blessed with an incredible mother with a fighting spirit. And the day I figured out how to program RBCR, she began telling me I should be an electrical engineer. But not everyone has such role models or cheerleaders in their life. So fellow graduates, men and women, please, please be advocates for this great profession. Continue to encourage your nephews, but more importantly, encourage your nieces, your girl cousins, your daughters, your friends' daughters. Tell them that they should not be intimidated or feel judged and pressured into dropping their interest for STEM careers. And now that we will all be joining the workforce, make sure to recognize your fellow women colleagues. Acknowledge their input and help eliminate the bias that exists in STEM careers. So, today marks a joyous occasion for an amazing group of people. But remarkable as it may be, it is but a pit stop in our professional journey. We couldn't have made it here without each other, fellow classmates. We've grown together through the panic studying, triumphant celebrations, and actual building a satellite. And all that will endure past this chapter in our lives. We're also ever thankful to the faculty and staff that helped us get here. The professors who included us in their research projects or that helped us during their office hours and staff that provided technical advice and resources for our own projects. Thank you. Now for the journey ahead. Some may have a meticulous five-year plan. Others may have a general idea or no clue at all. And all that is okay. Much like school, focus on one deadline or goal at a time, figure out what requirements you need for that, and then work in teams, manage your time, and get support. Be proud of our achievements here at Concordia, and take these lessons learned to seize all opportunities that lay ahead. Break open the doors and be those engineers that change the world. Thank you. Gracias. Natalie, thank you for sharing your thoughts with us, and I have no doubt you will change the world.
Before I ask the Deputy Provost to give her closing remarks, I'd just like to have a little closure of my own. I want to wish you all a hearty congratulations. I hope that you can all grow from strength to strength. But most of all, may the force be with you. Mesdames et Messieurs, merci d'être venus en si grand nombre de partager avec nous la joie de nos diplômés. Thank you all for being here to celebrate the terrific success of the class of 2016. Dear graduates, I realize you probably want to celebrate and get on to the next phase of your life. But before you do, Let's pause for a moment and take stock of the reality that hardly anyone gets anywhere in life on their own. We all need mentors, partners, collaborator collaborators. We need inspiration, support, and encouragement. Sometimes we need a hard reality check, and other times we need a, just a little bit of good luck. So before you walk out of the hall today and on to the next great phase of your life, can I ask that you pause for a moment and think about the people who've helped you on your journey to this moment here. Some of them may be faculty members or staff sitting up here with me on stage, beside or, or behind me. Or they may be back at campus, in labs and studios, in the library and offices, doing the great work they always do. Some of them may be your friends and fellow students sitting in seats beside you. But there's another group we should think about and thank. Graduates, would you please stand up, turn around, face the back of the great room, and look into the cameras at the faces of family members far away, and thank all the family members and friends who've stood with you on the journey to this special day. Graduates, I'll ask you to turn around for one final message. Concordia. Concordia is a great university with the promise of an even greater future ahead of it. And on this day, there's no better measure of our success or our potential than you. We will always be your university and you will always be our best ambassadors. Thank you for having chosen Concordia as a pathway to your future. You've honored us with your choice, and now, as this ceremony comes to a close, please allow us to toast your success with a vin d'honneur in the lobby outside. Merci, félicitations, au revoir, et à bientôt. Thank you.